So for this video, I'm going to be reading to you an excerpt from my book, Hex Allen and the Clanksmiths. Um, so, Hex Allen and the Clanksmiths by Jasmine Florentine, that's me, illustrated by Ebony Glenn. Ebony Glenn is the illustrator who made this beautiful cover and some of the pictures you'll see inside the book. So before I get started reading the excerpt, I'll just read the summary so there's some context for the scene. Hex Allen can't do magic. A huge problem when everything from lights to locks is powered by simple spells that everyone, aside from a few unfortunate undeveloped, can do. After years of feeling useless, Hex seizes the chance to change her future by journeying to the Wishing Worm, a legendary dragon that will grant a single wish only once a century. Unfortunately, Hex isn't the only one after the wish, and every rival wish hunter has magic on their side. Every rival except the Clanksmiths, Cam and Fuse. Like Hex, they can't do magic, but they've learned to build Clank, creations made using the mysterious, forgotten arts of science and engineering. After a fairy fiasco throws Hex and the Clanksmiths together, they agree to cooperate, at least for the time being. With the Clanksmiths' know-how and Hex's creativity, they outsmart monsters with everything from LEDs to electromagnets to water balloon launchers. But as they race to the Wishing Worm, Hex must decide between her friendship with the Clanksmiths and the wish that would give her a normal, magical life. So the scene that I'm going to be reading from, which relates to the project in the video, is one in which Hex, Cam, and Fuse have been kidnapped by fairies and are trapped in these cages. Um, along with them, a local hero, the Thunder Knight, has also been trapped. He's in a different cage, and so in order for him to rescue them, they need to create a distraction so the fairies don't notice them. So Hex, Cam, and Fuse decide to do a brainstorm to come up with ideas for how they might distract the fairies. Hex put her pencil to the paper, feeling foolish. I don't even know how Clank works or what materials we have to work with. Don't overthink it. Just draw anything that pops into your head, Cam said. You've got ideas and we've got Clank know-how. What if this was just another one of her stories? No magic girl versus the fairies. Maybe we could attach some kind of decoy to a tiny version of Cam's go-kart motor thing? Hex hesitantly added her first drawing to the rest but the clanksmiths nodded in acknowledgement of her idea. Or is there a way to make a loud noise on the other side of the clearing? This was just a story, and Hex knew stories. The ideas flowed from her brain, through her pencil, and onto the paper. Can we use one of Fuse's sparkly fire things? How about a slingshot to shoot something at them? Or could we build a flying thing that drops stuff on them? Is that possible with Clank? What if we use LEDs to blind them? Are they bright enough? Wow, Hex! Cam exclaimed. Hex looked up and found the other two staring at her. Am I brainstorming wrong? Hex asked, suddenly self-conscious. No, Cam said. Even Fuse's patchy eyebrows were raised in grudging admiration. This is great! Look, we can combine some of these ideas. He moved some of the sheets together. I like the idea of using one of Fuse's chemical concoctions as a distraction. Smoke bombs, Fuse said. I've got a handful in my pocket. And if we can shoot a few down to the clearing with the slingshot, the fairies won't see us leave the cage, Cam continued. I don't know what a smoke bomb is, but it sounds like a distraction, Hex said. Then the Thunder Knight can cut through his cage, summon the rope, and get us out of here. Or, Fuse said, we cut through our own cage and leave that blowhard behind. Hex and Cam glared at Fuse. She grinned and shrugged. Well, if he's as great as he thinks he is, he should be fine without us. She produced a handful of caramels, each with a thick green string sticking out from the middle. Candy? Hex asked. Don't eat those, Fuse said. They're smoke bombs. Potassium nitrate, sugar, and visco fuse. Why were the Clanksmiths always speaking in their own strange language? Fuse peered out the window of the cage and frowned. I don't think the slingshot is going to work. There's too many tree branches in the way. The smoke bombs might just get caught in the leaves and go off right next to us. Got any other ideas? Ugh, I guess that plan just went up in smoke, Hex grinned. Does that even count as a pun, Cam asked. Hex, I think you kind of bombed that joke. Stop it, both of you, Fuse groaned. Cam gave Hex a high five before turning back to sift through the pile of papers. Hex, what's this? he asked, pointing to one of Hex's brainstorming sketches. Oh, it's supposed to be a small version of your go-kart, Hex said. I thought you could use it as a distraction, but I don't really know how. 
She trailed off and looked out the window. Fuse was right. There were a number of tree branches in the way, but if she pressed her face to the window and stood on her tiptoes, she could just make out the forest floor and a clear path directly to where the fairies were. What if we put the smoke bomb on a tiny go-kart, lower it, and drive it to where the fairies are? Is that possible? Oh, Cam said, Hex, that's brilliant. Do we even have enough clank to build it? Hex asked, suddenly skeptical of her own suggestion. I've got enough stuff in my pockets to make a simple motorized cart we can put the smoke bombs on. We won't be able to control it, but if we can get it pointed in the right direction, it'll just go on its own. And then we can get it close enough so the bombs go off right in the middle of the party. Fuse finished. Nice job, Hex. She punched her on the shoulder in a friendly way, then grimaced. Forget I did that. I temporarily forgot we're rivals. Mr. Thunder Knight, Hex shouted to the other cage. We've got a plan to make a distraction. Excellent. Obviously, I had a plan as well. Several, actually, but I deem them to be too dangerous for children. Obviously, Fuse muttered, rolling her eyes. How's our buddy Percival doing? They're still bouncing him. He looks like he's about to throw up, Cam said. Hex didn't help so much as watch in fascination as the idea she scrawled out onto paper became a reality. She didn't know Clank well enough for any of her ideas to be more than concepts, but that was all Cam and Fuse needed to cobble together bits and pieces of wire, wood, and Clank to make something that, until now, had never before existed. And that act of creation was somehow even more impressive than any magical spell. The result looked like one of Spanner's toys, but with a battery and a little metal cylinder Cam said was like a tiny version of the motor on his go-kart. Fuse finished it off by tying the smoke bombs to the top of the cart with wire. All right, let's do this. Fuse drew out a small metal rectangle and flicked it with a finger. It ignited a tiny flame. What? What is that? Hex gaped at it. It's a lighter, Cam said. It's kind of like a fire spell. I am never using flint again. Actually, it's got a piece of flint, Cam started. Shh, don't ruin my moment, Hex said. Fuse pulled on her goggles. Safety glasses. Gotta wear them when you light smoke bombs, she advised Hex, handing her a pair from one of her many pockets. Or you'll burn off half your eyebrows like Fuse, Cam said, lowering his own goggles over his eyes. Well, that explained Fuse's patchy eyebrows. Eyebrows, schmibrows. It's your eyeballs you gotta worry about. Safety third. Safety first, Fuse, Cam corrected. That's what I said. Mr. Thunder Knight, Hex called out. Get ready. Fuse lit the green strings, and Cam pushed the button on the cart. The wheels spun on with a high-pitched whirring. Fuse and Hex lifted Cam up so he could stick his head out the window to get a better view of the forest floor below. He lowered the cart slowly, using a length of twine. Almost there, he muttered. Come on, it's spinning. I just need to wait until it faces the right way. And it's on the ground, he announced, letting go of the twine. Bing, Fuse said. There it goes, Cam exclaimed, and Hex stood on her toes to watch the small cart trundle toward the gathering of fairies. Bang, Fuse said. Mr. Thunder Knight, get ready with that slice spell, Hex shouted. Boom, Fuse yelled. Plumes of gray-white smoke poured into the air, making it look like a cloud had fallen from the sky and crashed into the clearing. Fairies fluttered through the air like a flock of startled firebirds, squawking in alarm. So I'll stop the read aloud there, but I'll skip to the end of the book where you can see this is the instructions to make the cart that Hex, Cam, and Fuse build. And so that's the one that's in the video um, as well. But these are illustrations that just show you how to actually make it in the book.